Daycares across the country are closing their doors. It's leaving parents scrambling as the economy tries to bounce back. In tonight's Rebound Report, Chris Connie takes a look at why some say the child care industry needs federal help to survive the pandemic. A changing of the seasons has ushered in a change of a different kind for daycares across the country. The conditions and situations made it really unavoidable. Father Stephen Lundrigan has overseen Annunciation Parish for the last three years. For the last three decades, the church here has run the Caring Place, a daycare that has seen generations of children come through. It's developed a tremendous amount of trust with the, you know, the, the families that have sent their children there. And that's just evidenced by the fact that children who have gone there wind up sending their children. But in two weeks, the playgrounds here will no longer be filled with kids as the caring place will close. It's a loss. Daycares across the country are facing similar hardships. Most had to shut down during the spring. Unlike schools, they couldn't provide care virtually. Daycares that have reopened have seen enrollment numbers plummet as many parents who are working from home don't need child care. And with nearly 18 million Americans out of work, some families simply can't afford daycare anymore. It's not just about business. It's not just about numbers, it's not just about economics. If we could run it at a $10,000 a month loss or something, we would. We just don't, we just can't. By some estimates, a staggering 50% of child care providers throughout the country could close permanently by the end of the year. Capacity limits due to COVID safety procedures have limited the number of kids many places can care for. U.S. daycares also lack any kind of public funding. It became pretty clear that even with the best efforts we were trying, we were not going to be able to bring in any more students. Even you know before the pandemic, in some areas, parents were struggling to find and afford child care. Um, so this may make this may make that worse. Elizabeth Davis is an economist with the University of Minnesota. She says without some kind of federal aid, an untold number of daycares nationwide will permanently close, which could have long-term impacts for families and the economy. It's shown us how important child care is to our modern economy, and it's part of the infrastructure. And so, yes, it, this is a sector that needs some of that support. Just another layer of uncertainty as families try to navigate the pandemic. I'm Chris Conti, 